Welcome my viewer. In this video, I will take you through the process of drawing a Venn diagram using Microsoft Word application. The version I'm using is Microsoft Word 2013, but you can use any version for doing this work. The first step is to create a file. This is done by right clicking anywhere on your desktop. A menu will be displayed. Move until when you find option new. Then again another menu will be created on the right hand side. So you move on to the right hand side again. Then just click on Microsoft Word document once. A new document will be created. So you type the name of the document. I want this document to be called Venn Diagram. So I say Venn Diagram. When you're done, click on enter on your keyboard. So the document has already been created. We have to open this document. So this is done by double clicking on this document. Double click on it. A blank document will be open. Microsoft Word document. So you go on to insert. After insert, move until when you see shapes here. So there is an arrow pointing downwards. Click on that arrow. You see that it will display for you many shapes like use shapes, rectangle and so on. But I'm interested in oval. So move and click on oval once. When you're done, come onto any free space. You see that the cursor will change. It will have a cross sign. So click and hold down the left mouse or the left button on your laptop and you move this around slide around on the, on the free space you'll come up with that circle right click on the circle then go and copy this said so you can paste other circles right click on it right click on this and then you say paste right click and paste. The option for pasting is there. So after doing that, press and hold down your, the left button of your laptop or the left mouse. You can slide this around, arrange these shapes to form a three dimension Venn diagrams like this. But after joining these shapes together, you see that the shapes are the outlines are not clearly visible. So what you do, you just go to shape fill and then you say no fill, select the second Venn diagram, go to shape fill and then you say no fill, go to option number three, shape fill and then you say no fill. So you come up with Venn diagrams that with clear boundaries. So your work is to enter the um, digits inside the Venn diagram. But in case you want to change the outline of this shape to black, so just select the Venn diagram, left click on it, then you go to shape outline, click on the black outline, click on the second one here, select number two, shape outline, say I need a black outline. Number three, select on it, say shape outline, and then click on that black outline. So when you're done, the outlines are now black. You can enter the shapes of the um, figure here by double clicking inside the shapes. I can double click, I write 45. I can double click here. I can write 30. You can double click inside here. And then you say 22. Double click this side. Then you say 20. Double click, right 30, double click 15, double click, you get 50. So when you're done entering the figures inside the Venn diagram, you may be interested in drawing the outside rectangle. So it's still okay. You go to insert, then you click on shapes, this arrow going down, then select on rectangle. After that, you can press and hold 
the left mouse down or the left button of your laptop you can draw that you can still move this one this side but you see that this one has covered our Venn diagrams there should be no need to worry just go to um, and when you have seen click inside here and you see that the format our format tools are here we shall go to shape fill and then we shall say no fill yeah our Venn diagram is there you can go to outline shape outline and then you change the outline to color black so the Venn diagram is there clearly drawn you want to write anything outside I can be interested in writing anything here I can say this is for volleyball volleyball you can write there or you can even click there to say this is for football just type football you can come down you can click there anywhere even there you say basketball is done when you are interested in entering the universal set outside the Venn diagram there's, that is there is no problem you say insert then you go to symbol design you look for the symbol for universal sets you go to more symbol you slide around here you can move around here until when you find that symbol for universal set you can check here you can move your apps in here you can click on this and then you say insert then you close it you have you can have seen I place it here so sorry you can go and click it here if you want to put your um, you say insert then symbols then you can select the symbol for universal set you say it is equal to maybe 400 so that's done so this is a process that you go through when you want to draw a Venn diagrams. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe, like or even comment on my videos.